Welcome to the Third Wind channel and part two of the pilot analysis of the shows iCarly, Drake and Josh, Zoe101, and Victorious. In part one, we talked about our characters and the way they are introduced, the differences in the main characters, and the character conflicts that are set up. Definitely watch part one before watching this video, part two. With that being said, what are we going to talk about in part two? In this video, I'll cover the plot and its aims, some fun numbers, and the most important moment in each pilot. This video will be less structured and less deep than part one, and it's more like a fun facts video. First off, what are the aims of each of these pilots? I'll keep it nice and simple and just tell you how I see it. All the pilots aim to introduce the characters, this is obvious, but what else? The iCarly pilot aims to introduce the web show, iCarly, and they do this by establishing why and how they started the web show. The aim of the Drake and Josh pilot is to get the brothers united. We are far from it in the beginning of the episode, but through some crazy events, we get there in the end. Zoe101's pilot aims to mend the girls and the boys in a healthy way, the girls proving themselves as crowd favorites at the end of the episode solidified respect for them. Victorious's pilot aims to get Tori into Hollywood Arts and get her to stay there. As simple as that. But we get to see Tori go through many relatable struggles to get to the point where she finds her own footing. The aims of each of these shows are heavily rooted in the main character. Even with Drake and Josh, it feels like it's more about Drake's acceptance of Josh making Drake feel like the main character. Maybe that's just me. But now, let's split off into a fun little tangent. When watching an episode of the show, have you ever thought about how many scenes you see throughout an episode? Growing up, I never really thought about this, but as the purpose of these videos is partially to get inside the producers' heads, I thought, let me count how many scenes there are in each pilot. Before I reveal the numbers, it's important to remember where the idea of scenes even comes from. Scenes comes from theater, a change of scene often signifies a change in setting and the characters present. It's a necessary tool to create a story based around characters, as not all the characters can interact with each other in a meaningful way all at the same time. Now, how many scenes are in each of our pilots? iCarly has 12, Drake and Josh also has 12, Zoe 101 has 10, and Victorious also has 10. I thought this was really interesting, the similar amount of scenes, which I guess makes perfect sense, considering they are all made by the same company. But now, finally, I wanted to close off the first pilot analysis by highlighting my favorite moment and, in my opinion, the most important moment from each of these episodes. In iCarly, in the ninth scene, we see Carly frustrated with Ms. Briggs and her censorship of the school's talents. But then it all clicks for Carly. She realizes she can use her new audience to show those censored, talented kids and defies Ms. Briggs. The way Carly, Sam, and Freddie collectively hit that magic moment of Let's start a web show is, to me, awesome. I also love how Freddy is the one to come up with the name iCarly. In Drake and Josh, it's simple. In the last scene, Drake tells Josh to hug me brother, and they do, and it's beautiful. In Zoe 101, the moment where Dustin gains the courage to cheer for the girls, that moment for me is key, and it's my favorite. In Victorious, it's difficult. There are many moments that I could label as most important, but my favorite would have to be the one where Andre tries to convince Tori to stay at Hollywood Arts. To me, that moment is just so genuine, especially when Andre goes, normal's boring. That just about wraps up pilot analysis number one. We did a special two-parter so that we can compare these four series, and it was a lot of fun to do. Let me know what series you'd like to see next for pilot analysis two, and for now, thank you for watching the Third Wind channel, and I'll see you guys soon.